We have a fitness to compete program this year that was new. Part of that program is that we need to track the uh, chuck wagon horses to track the number of days that they run. We're chipping the horses so we can scan them and uh, download information to a computer. Essentially the microchips are, are come pre-packaged in essentially a, a syringe with a little bit larger than average needle on them, you know, but not much different than a needle we would use for, you know, vaccinating or, you know, putting antibiotics into the, you know, giving intramuscular injection of one of those two products. This is the sort of leading edge of the fitness to compete program which requires multiple veterinary examinations before any animal competes on the park. I have horses anywhere from Dubai, I have a horse from New Zealand and all the way across North America. It's a lot to keep track of and the Calgary Stampede you know they're very proactive and they're trying to do all they can uh, for the safety of the sport and just uh, information for everybody so I think everybody's just looking to uh, take care of these horses. You know there's a lot of misconceptions out there that these guys run their horses uh, 10 days in a row so we're trying to, to admit that. This information will give us exact information not only on the number of days that they run but their health of the animal because we're going to pre-race and uh, post-race inspect them and uh, pre-event inspect them. So all that information will be entered into the database that we have and uh, that chip will allow us to, to do this more efficiently and more effectively. Per horse, if we're set up and, and everything's sort of ready, most horses we can do in one to three minutes. If anything, they're going to flinch very slightly, but it isn't any different for them than receiving a needle for any other reason. Once we've completed the microchipping, these horses haven't received sedative or anesthetic of any kind, so they're ready to go out, you know, be turned out this afternoon and graze, or some of these horses may even compete tonight. There's really no after effect of the implantation. We can scan repeatedly and enter it into a digital database that tracks their rest days, their competition days, any injuries that may occur, any treatment that they've received. It also allows our veterinarians to log them off when they've been examined when they arrive on park, again when they're examined pre-race, and then again when they're examined post-race. If there are trends that come out of that data, we can react to those trends, make necessary changes in the future, and always, always, the, the whole goal is sort of to improve the sport, in my opinion, for the health of the animals. If changes need to be made, we'd like to make them based on science and evidence and data rather than emotion. I think the microchips are, you know, it's a way of the future for a lot of animals, uh, probably, all the way across North America. We've got a standard chip in now, but in the future it has GPS capabilities. They're experimenting with microchips now that will monitor heart rate and body temperature and those types of things that we might need information that we need to, to make better decisions down the road if we're going to implement different programs. It's going kind to of unique in the sense that, you know, pretty unique to the uh, chuck wagon industry and uh, we're going to have information so we can be proactive and make better decisions as we move forward. I think it's all positive and Anytime we can take care of these horses, it's all good.